With us now is Republican Congressman Mike Waltz of Florida. Congressman, thank you for joining us, making time this Sunday. Now, you have been sharply critical of the Biden administration for pressuring Israel to pull back. What does your solution look like here? Well, thanks and good to be with you, uh, Chris. Look, the, the obvious off-ramp here uh, is, is the hostage situation. And you hear very little about that from, from Joe Biden. They were apparently, uh, they being the Israelis, Hamas, uh, working with Qatar and Egypt, uh, very close to a deal, uh, which would have given Biden what he wanted, which was a temporary ceasefire, uh, and would have given the world what everybody wants, which is a release of these hostages. Uh, but you know, to, to try to use uh, congressionally appropriated and authorized military aid uh, as a lever, uh, well, one is uh, illegal. It's impeachable, according to the Democrats just a few years ago, who used that same justification to impeach President Trump over Ukraine. Uh, and it's, as you can see by Netanyahu saying, I've got to defend my country. I have to make sure Hamas can never do this again. He's been very clear about that from day one. This just, it's just this flip-flop, discordant, anger everyone, uh, try to walk a fine line approach that Biden has taken, and it is simply not working. Do you think the president should be impeached? Is that, do you think it is an impeachable offense? Well, it certainly is using the, the justification uh, from a few years ago. I think the reality of us being in an election year now and the election just six months away, I think you have a, a kind of a political and an operational reality there. But it certainly is, um, he certainly is withholding aid, and he is obviously doing it for political reasons. Okay. Now, the United States, though, does have a responsibility, some responsibility, to monitor and direct how our allies use the weapons we send them, though, right? That is true. Oh, of course. Uh, we have end-use monitoring all over the world. But in this case, if you look at, I mean, he's making this kind of ridiculous distinction, he actually made it in the run-up to the Ukraine uh, conflict as well, of offensive and defensive weaponry. And I can tell you as a Green Beret that's operated all over the world, uh, a, a tank that can defend a city, uh, for example, Hezbollah launching missiles into Israel to take out those launch sites, can also be used offensively. So can bombs or any other type of ammunition. So it just is, it, it's not going to get Biden what he wants. Uh, it's only angering the, uh, the supporters of Israel who do believe, as I do, you have to destroy Hamas. You cannot allow them to survive another day. Uh, and I, I just don't think it's going to get us uh, to a reasonable result, uh, resolution here. Okay, so you wrote a letter to Senate leaders Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell, and you want them to block uh, in the Senate the president's nominees for the defense and State Department's until all of these weapons are released. Uh, you wrote, let me be clear, it would be a mistake of historical proportions to allow Hamas to survive. Doing so would mean it emerges as a victor in this conflict. And I certainly take your point there. Uh, but let's say that the IDF were to obliterate Hamas. Are we talking about an indefinite Israeli military occupation of this region? I mean, a vacuum would result, yeah. right? Well, that's the, I mean, this is the horrific situation and the difficult situation the IDF is in. Uh, the, you know, goal number one is the destruction of Hamas as a military threat. Number two is the demilitarization of Gaza. And that is incredibly vague. Uh, it, uh, there are some, uh, and, and I would subscribe to this, that think the Gulf Arabs can step in can help reform uh, secure the security apparatus in the Palestinian Authority and advise and mentor them as a new type of governing, reformed governing structure in Gaza. But that's going to take some time. Uh, and I think the reality is the IDF will have to sit on the security situation uh, going forward, which, uh, it, it, again, they're, 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 they're damned if they do, damned if they don't in this situation, yeah. if they allow Hamas to survive. Uh, They've been very clear more October 7th will happen. Uh, and otherwise, uh, they have to go in and fight street to street, house to house, when you have an enemy that deliberately hides behind civilians to do whatever they can to parse those uh, civilians out and cause as few civilian casualties as possible. Thanks for watching. 
Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.